All right, I don't know what to say. Carlos Cray may not be a Met, apparently, all of a sudden. Apparently, according to John Heyman, Carlos Cray's camp is in contact with at least one other mystery team for the first time in two weeks. Apparently, there was a little hiccup, quote-unquote, between the negotiations with Steve Cohen and Carlos Cray's camp. So, therefore, one team in particular has reached out to Carlos Cray's camp trying to steal him away from Uncle Stevie. Now, do I think Uncle Stevie is going to let this man walk after keeping the steal under wraps for such a long time? Two weeks of no really serious news no leaks or anything do i think stevie's gonna let this one go i don't think he's gonna let carlos correa go but it does beg to differ when you have someone leaking news i am assuming scott boris ended up leaking something because john Heyman reported this first and you know john Heyman is pretty much scott boris's go-to guy john Heyman leaked this so apparently someone is looking to get carlos correa now what team do i think is it i think honestly the twins still really want correa to be that franchise guy for the twins i don't know if the twins are going to be able to put up steve cohen money which i know they probably won't but it is a possibility because since a deal is getting done no matter which way you look at it i think carlos correa will still get a ton of money and i know uncle stevie isn't gonna bullshit him but i'm saying is that the twins wanted this guy so bad they went out of their way to offer this guy a ton of money in free agency just to re-sign with them and have him for a long time the twins knew what carlos correa would do for the clubhouse and i think it's important to understand that the twins really needed this guy as a staple piece for their roster for years to come so before we get into the crazy easy deal with the Carlos Cray and news please leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it also, another team that might uh, be interested in the McQuitter accounts, which, hey, you could say, you know, they're not correct. Apparently, the Braves might be on him. I would be really interesting if the Braves came and scooped up Carlos Correa. Now, do I believe the source? I don't think so, but I'm still going to report it because, hey, you never know what could happen. Maybe he will become a Brave, which, God, I, I don't know. I don't think it would feel right after getting signed. If he does become a Brave, oh, my God, the freaking internet would break. The Mets community would break. The NL East would break, man. At the end of the day, I think Carlos Correa needs to become a Met. I think him and Lindor will be perfect and I also think Correa is important to this Mets team and I think Steve Cohen knows that because if you guys didn't realize especially in that Braves Mets series at the end of the season a lot of the people on the roster was really nervous there's interviews about it all the time like Pete Alonso was literally like I need to do something he felt that shock in in like you know honestly nervousness as a baseball player and a human being of feeling like he needed to do something to win him the series and I think Carlos Correa some guy that has been in so many big spots in his life and in playoffs dude this guy is going to be electric in the playoffs you guys already have something like that that is really serious you got Max Scherzer that dude will go out there he'll pretend like he doesn't even see you man Scherzer is always locked in and I think you guys need that on the batting side Carlos Correa would fit that title perfectly. Now, am I comparing Carlos Correa and Max Scherzer to each other? Yeah, but I'm talking about their personality. I think Scherzer provides that for the bullpen and the starting rotation, but I think Carlos Correa would provide that for your players, and I think Steve Cohen knows that. I think everyone understands that this deal needs to get done, because if you don't, it's going to be seen as a letdown from the Mets' standpoint. Like, yeah, Correa getting announced was really important because it was like a real wrench. Like, someone just tossed a wrench in there, man. It was ridiculous. Like, no one expected it. Like, looking back at my video, I was shocked. I was like, wow, the Mets got Correa like all of a sudden. So I think if Correa doesn't get signed, that $1 million ticket sales will be on the baseball Twitter page of baseball unfortunate events that did happen. And I think Carlos Correa needs to come in that because Steve Cohen knows, man, his fans want to spend that money to go out and see Correa. And I think it just will get done. However, I'm just reporting on the news according to John Heyman. Last time this kind of happened, Brandon Nemo signed to the Mets like literally that night or tomorrow morning or the next day. So I think we're going to find out the news about Korea soon, either tonight. I'm recording this at 12 a.m. on January 6th. So if it happens later tonight, I'll record a video. Or if it happens tomorrow, I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just updating you on the news. Have a good one.